Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C tutorials. Uh, in this video, uh, we will be learning about some of the algorithms and in the upcoming videos also. Uh, so, we will be learning about the algorithms which are used in the operating systems for execution of processes. We all know our uh, systems are uh, capable of doing many tasks together. You can uh, watch YouTube videos. On the other hand, you can also type a Word document. You can uh, you can write a, a text document also, and you can do many stuffs together. So the operating system need to decide which which work should be done first and which work should be done afterwards. So for that, we have different mechanism in our operating system. Uh, like you you can call it as we have different algorithms for determining which process to be executed first and which is to be executed next. So in uh, our uh, next couple of videos I am going to explain those algorithms. Uh, the first algorithm we will be seeing is uh, uh, FCFS or uh, first come first serve scheduling. So what is first come first serve? Well first come first serve uh, is an operating system process scheduling algorithm and a network routing management mechanism that automatically executes queued request and processes by the order of their arrival with uh, uh, whenever the first uh, process comes into the queue it will be getting executed first then the next process which will be coming into the queue will be getting executed and uh, FCFS provides an efficient simple and error free process scheduling algorithm that saves valuable CPU resources it uses non primitive scheduling in which a process is automatically queued and processed uh, processing occurs according to an incoming request or process order. FCFS derives its concept from real life customer service. Uh, well, whatever I said just now, if that is n does not made uh, sense to you, so let me explain you with an uh, example. Suppose this is a queue and uh, uh, these customers are waiting uh, for a service or for any response from this uh, operator. Okay, in, in our case, we'll call this operator or this server as the uh, processor, and these are the processes which wants to get executed on a particular system. So this process came first into this queue, so the processor will be executing this process first. Once the processor finishes executing this process, then this process will be going out or the next process will be getting executed by the processor. Unless the execution or unless the work of this process is not completed, our next job will not be getting started. So this is FCFS, first come, first serve. So now let's have a look on one uh, example which will explain you more about it. Uh, suppose uh, we have uh, three processes uh, like P1, P2 and P3. P1 is placed in the processing with a waiting time of 0 seconds means the P1 is the first process which is to be executed and 5 seconds is for uh, is taken for its execution like it means that the time taken by this process is 5 seconds it needs 5 seconds to complete its execution or you can call it as burst time or execution time both are one and the same so when the execution time of p1 is 5 seconds it means that p2 process will definitely have to wait 5 seconds to get executed so we'll say that 5 seconds and it is uh, after 5 seconds it will be uh, placed in the process queue or it or it will be getting executed after 5 seconds only so the waiting time of p2 is 5 it has to wait 5 seconds then the execution time of uh, p2 is 3 seconds so next comes P3. P3 will have to wait 5 plus 3 seconds. Why? Because the pre first P1 will be getting executed. It takes 5 seconds to get executed. Once this gets executed, the P2 was waiting for 5 seconds. Then after it started uh, executing its own self, it again took 3 seconds. So 5 plus 3, 8 seconds completed. So P3 was still waiting over here. So the waiting time of P3 will be the uh, sum of these two that is 8 seconds and our uh, P3 will be getting executed for 2 seconds and after that our whole processes will be getting uh, executed. 
uh, let me show you an animation to explain you this we'll start by process 1 so you see first second is going on and our process is continuing now we are into the second now this is the third 3 milliseconds time completed 4 milliseconds and then we have the last one that is 5 milliseconds once this 5 milliseconds time completes the p1 process has complete uh, completed so the waiting time of p1 is uh, 0 and the execution time or the uh, burst time was 5 seconds so our p1 took 5 seconds for completion now next one will be p2 so now let's start p2 now our p2 will start after 5 se 5 milliseconds okay so now this is 6 7 and uh, so on 8 now once this p2 stops executing you can see the waiting time of p2 was 5 seconds now we have we are done with p1 and p2 now what is left is p3 so now let's uh, start working with our p3 process now this is our p3 process see 10 and uh, when the two sec milliseconds will be getting uh, finished you can have your all the three processes completed uh, what you are seeing over here this uh, diagram is known as Gantt chart uh, which will give you the waiting time and the execution time of the uh, any process so the waiting time for p1 was 0 seconds waiting time for p2 was 5 seconds waiting time for p3 was 8 seconds why because uh, the execution time of this process plus execution time of this process will be the waiting time for this process so the average waiting time will be 0 plus 5 plus 8 by number of processes that is 3 so when we divide it we get 4.33 so this was a brief introduction to FCFS in the next video we will be writing an, um, a program a C program to implement this algorithm hope you understood the algorithm and thanks for watching